Hello everybody and welcome to my first episode of my new FIFA series, it's a creator club manage mode. Before we get into it, if we can get 10 likes on the first episode I'd greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe, we're closing in on the 100 subs. I appreciate all the support that's been happening on the channel recently. So this series will be running side by side with my beer goalkeeper series. If you want to check that out, a link will be in the description for that one. Right, let's move on to the important stuff. So, the football team is called Marshmallow FC. It's a Twitch thing, it happens on my Twitch channel. If you want to check that out, link in the description as well. We are replacing Borough in EFL League 2 and our rival is going to be Swindon Town. I've also gone for quite a low rating at half a star, just to match with the rest of the teams in the league. We're playing on Legendary Difficulty, which I might have been a bit too optimistic with. I haven't actually played the manager mode since 2013 when I did my Gillingham one on the channel. That was a long time ago, so I have a lot to actually learn through manager mode. So if you have any tips, maybe some players you want me to sign, because I am going in blind pretty much. Even with like formations or tactics, also development of players I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing with that side I've had a little bit of a play around but not too much so now we're going to have a little look at our youth squad and check out Jacob Thorne he's going to be a star in the making his potential's up to a 94 five star five star six foot three he might go straight into the squad you know but this is what I'm going to need a lot of help on I'm not sure what to do with the development side of stuff even with the first team as well, you can see we're looking for it quickly. We've got a decent goalkeeper at a 52 rate, it'd be 17 again. We got rid of some of the old players. I do sell some of them later on in the episode. But like this, goalkeeper or sweeper keeper, I'm not too sure what to pick for him. So at the moment, I just leave most people on balance. So if you do have any help, let me know in the comments below. So overall, I'm not too disappointed in the team. I don't think it's too bad. We've got some decent enough players to help us compete. A lot of low rated as well, but a lot of them have decent potential. And now it is the time everyone's been waiting for, our first football match as a professional team. It is only in the pre-season tournament, but it's still a big game for us. Look how good I look in that suit with my mullet flowing in the wind. Next episode, I'm going to try doing live com over the gameplay. Hopefully that way it makes it easier for me to produce more episodes. But here we are, the first game of our club career. And I am not very good at this FIFA, apparently. I used to be decent back in the day. I've not played an actual match of FIFA since like September last year. So I'm a bit rusty. You can see they are pretty much bullying me. So maybe Legendary wasn't the best choice. But I feel like I can make it work. But 1-0 down, 27 minutes. And I don't even know what the rating of these teams are. They seem too good to be up against me. We're like half a star. But look like how you're going to beat that first time shot. Beats my keeper at the near post. I have definitely seen some glimmers of light during these games. So Hancock using his strength and getting a shot off. Keeper makes a great save. Hope here, given all the space and time, takes a shot, gets a deflection. Then it gets another deflection, which the ref gives handball for. Very harsh on him. But Hancock is the man for the job. Stepping up, goes to the left side and slots in. Keepers dive the wrong way. And our first club goal goes to Hancock. He is definitely going to be one of our star men. I think he's our highest rated striker at 63. But look at that finish. Keeper, no chance. Wrong way. But going to half time, a 1 1. We're drawing, which is very nice for us. But look at this mistake by me. How poor is that? Go for the header. Just doesn't go anywhere while I tried putting it. And straight to him. Pass across the box. Easy tapping. No chance for the keeper. All the space in the middle. And now they're just taking a mick out of me. Look at this, all the space again. My defending is pretty atrocious. I will get better at it. And the players just aren't up to scratch. But look at the space. I just don't close down quick enough. When I do, I bring too many players onto the ball and then leave the space behind. I do make some subs. I bring on Chandler here and pff, what a strike. What a run as well from midfield. Hancock holds the ball up very well. Chandler just bursts through, busts the gut to get into the box. And he has the composure to finish it off as well. Look at the run, just loads of space and cross the keeper. Decent finish. 3-2, we have a chance now. 87th minute and into the box again. It's Slater this time and the keeper is straight at it. We could have won, but sadly we lose our first ever game. 3-2. I'm happy with the performance in a way. Disappointed with the goals given. I do decide to change the formation back to a 4-3-3. I felt like the midfielders weren't 
making a gap between the striker so there's too much space between them i'm still not sure what the best formation is for me to play i do start doing some instructions stay back for the left back and right back and i make slater stay back while attacking as well we do get an offer for Joel Allen. He's young enough that I feel like I can make the most of him, so I decided to reject it. Maybe the loan would have been a good idea, but I didn't really want to sell him. Now into the second game, I decided to switch the team up a little bit, bring in some players to see what they're made of, and Nicole's here. What a strike. First touch, edge of the box, a 1-0 up. I can't believe it. First time we're actually winning the game. Such a good strike from the edge of the box. You can see, make a little bit of space. He makes the run, one touch. Bangs it across the keep. He's flailing around, reaching for the stars. But it did not take them long to get an opportunity, and he definitely scores from that. He has made the perfect run, well timed. Defenders nowhere to be seen. Little chop from that winger there, and look at that pass. The defender doesn't, it runs away from the ball. I'm not sure why. Keeper maybe should have saved it, but he's my 17 year old. And he is definitely going to be one for the future. He made some outstanding saves. And we have another one in the youth academy. So maybe get rid of the other goalkeeper and bring in all youth goalkeepers. Be pretty decent. But 1-1 one, one at, at half time. Make some subs as well. But the second half starts atrociously. What is going on here? All the defenders bunched up. He just walks through us pretty much. You can see that. Just goes past three of them. <laughs> and bangs a keeper. A bit suspicious. But you know. I can't, like I said he's 17. I'm going to give him all the time he needs but check out the little chip through ball and he's hit it straight at the goalkeeper cannot believe it we could have tied it up that time they get a bit lucky with a tackle it hits the post though so our luck comes back to us Williamson on now and I don't know how he has scored that he's one of the subs we made I think he's quite low rated but damn you might get the opportunity if you keep scoring like that get a header from the goal kick and then look at it, just first times it again apparently it's the way to go keeper was real bad but we do manage to get a draw which i'm happy with we've got to come back to tie it up so we're, now we're against real sociedad b and they started the game off real quick look at the space again hits the post we get a bit lucky and we managed to clear it away but this time 14 minutes in how has he scored that it's like a little dribbler. The space is there. Defender runs away. I'm all over the place. More space and just keepers. No to be seen. Doesn't even make a proper effort. So we're lucky to be in this still at 1-0. Half time is still 1-0. So we're holding on. We made it a little bit better. But we do get an opportunity of heart. Another midfield run. And this is what I'm looking for in my players. From the midfield. For clearing that space. Getting up to the strikers. Making their runs. And once again, great fish. Left footed. Keeper didn't stand a chance with it, but they do get an opportunity in the 85th minute. This time the keeper makes up for the goal earlier, and we finish 1-1, another draw against Real Sociedad B, and we're out of the pre-season tournament. We get a little bit of budget, 206 grand. We get an offer for Mbo, who is a decent player, but he's once again, he's 34 years old, and I wasn't really using him. We managed to get 110 grand for him. And these are some of the people on the shortlist. I'm thinking that J. Rowe could be a decent centre-back to bring in. He's 19, has decent enough stats, so maybe... I have not actually brought anyone yet. So if you do have any players you think are worth it, let me know in the comments. This Mulholland has a bit of an attitude. You see, that I'm glad you decided to put me up. So, to be honest, I haven't really been enjoying playing here. That's like, get gone then. See you later, mate. I didn't want you either. 48 has a, it's a bit of a prospect, but he's not good enough. And we get an offer which we accept for Rowley, 240 grand. I've got a little bit more money out of him. And this is the perfect opportunity to bring Jacob Fawn into the senior squad. So that's what I do. 17, he, he's better than a lot of the players already. He's also a local boy. He knows what his club means, apparently. You know, it's just been made, but he's a local boy. He loves it. Mulholland sold. Couldn't be happier, to be honest. 21, but get gone. And now our first league match is against Stevens United. Jacob Fawn making his debut. He's going to remember this one. And I think we might have to build this team around him, you know. But we start slow. Stevens hit the post in the 10th minute. We finally get an opportunity in the 26th there. Hart again, midfielder. And he's got a wand of a left foot. The magic is behind it. How has he scored that one? Gives it the old Tim Cahill on the corner flag look at this great pass make some space himself burst of pace as well and great finish heart is a little goal scorer we love to see it 
Now, if you've played FIFA and it's the 45th minute, you know what's going to happen, don't you? List with the goal and it's just a bit of a calamity of defending. The ball is bouncing around left, right and centre. No stopping it. They get a few opportunities, a few shots. Great tackle there. Bounce off the player's face. Miss the ball with the other defender and they just tap it in. Pretty disappointing, but that is FIFA in a nutshell. But at the start of the second half, we start so slow. They get another goal, 2-1 up now, Steven is. Once again, midfield is not tracking back, leaving the space of the box. He scores an absolute belter. Keeper had no chance, but then we get a bit of luck for Hancock. The defenders run into each other, a little turn, and he's got the space himself and bangs it across the goalkeeper. Look at the defenders clash into each other, knock one down. Hancock takes the opportunity, keeper can save that one, drilled it past, and we get another draw. First league match, we end it with a tie. We can't really complain, too many mistakes leading to goals, but that is going to be it for the end of the episode, I hope you did enjoy, if you did, leave a comment, drop a like, maybe subscribe, and as always, look after yourself, stay safe, and I'll speak to you next time, goodbye.